Greyhound. My name is Brian. In this episode, we're going to discuss a Greyhound's prey drive, which is their instinct to hunt down and chase small animals. Trainers use a mechanical hare or lure to capture the attention of that prey drive to interest the dogs to run around a racetrack. But how do I handle that instinct when that dog retires and I try to integrate it into my home? In our experience, there are three different types of prey drive for a greyhound. There's small animal safe, not small animal safe, and correctable. These are our cats, Jack and Zoe. Zoe's a little shy, so we probably won't see her too much. This is Jack, he's a big boy, he's 12 years old, and this is his house. And he allows our greys to live here due to his kind benevolence. These two cats have experienced all three types of prey drive in our greys. Both Wilson and Nate paid little to no attention to our cats when we first adopted them. They still want to chase rabbits and squirrels outside, but they have no interest at all in the cats. That would classify both of them as small animal safe. One of our previous foster dogs, Molly, was very focused on the cats. She would never stop staring at them and salivating. And if we let go of her, she would immediately give chase after them. She was absolutely not small animal safe. Now just because one of our greys wants to get one of our small animals, that does not mean that I cannot correct that behavior. When we first got Olive, she was very interested in our cats. But then we taught her that they were off limits, and now we have no worries. Outside, she is still very interested in other small dogs and cats. But inside, she learned to coexist with them. It's possible that she views the walls of our house to be the difference. Heather is going to work with our foster dog, Molly, to demonstrate how we accomplish this. The longer they stare at their prey, the more excited they become. It's important to divert their attention away. Molly! At first, it may be difficult to divert their attention. I've had better success if I reward them with treats when they look at me instead of at the cats. Sometimes they can be so focused on their prey that they do not hear their names being called or smell the treats that we're offering to them. We have found that squirting them with the water bottle breaks their focus. <laughs> It's not meant to be a punishment. It's just a way to divert their attention and break their focus. We have found that some not small animal safe greyhounds can be corrected with these practices, and some cannot. But that does not mean that they cannot find a home to be adopted into when they retire. They can fit perfectly into a home that does not have or plan to have any small dogs or cats. Regardless of whether they're small animal safe or not, greyhounds should always be on a leash when they're outside and not contained within a fenced in yard. The diversion techniques that Heather demonstrated are a great way to make walks more enjoyable and easier to control when encountering another small animal on the sidewalk. Generally, these races end with a photo finish, and I'd like to do the same thing with this program. This is a photo of one of our foster dogs, Faye, sharing a bed with Jack. I wanted to show that many greyhounds that have been trained to chase small animals can live with them in retirement. I want to encourage all of you watching to post in the comments pictures of your greys cuddling with other small animals that you have in your homes. Thank you very much for watching The Great Show of Greyhounds over this past series of six episodes. I'm taking the summer off, but I hope to be back later this fall with a second series of episodes. But that depends on you, the viewer. Subscribing to this YouTube channel tells me that there's a demand for more episodes. That link can be found over here and does work on touchscreen devices. The goal is 100 subscribers, and we're about halfway there. A playlist of this whole series of six episodes can be found up here, and a link to the previous episode can be found down here. Hopefully the next episode will be linked up here. But as I said, that depends on your subscription support. Thank you very much for watching. We've had a great time.